Hi, Michaela Harris here. I want to take just a few minutes today to show you what you could be doing to outrank your competitors online and grow your business by utilizing this beautiful website here to bring you in all that traffic that's out there available to your company. Now, a website needs to bring you in customers. A website that does not do that is much like a beautiful car with no gas. It's going to look great, but it's not going to get you anywhere. So I'm going to show you how to optimize this website, some tips and things that you can do to increase your presence online and capitalize on that traffic that's out there. So first off, I do like the way that your website looks. It looks very nice and professional. I do like your images that you've got down here. However, I'm not seeing 1500 words of content. Now 1500 words is important because that's the amount of words that Google algorithms tend to look for when they're crawling a website. And with that, they want to make sure that there are good quality keywords within that content and also that your images save as the, those keywords because those keywords are what's going to tell Google what your site is about and what type of person it needs to link you with. So without those keywords on there, Google's not going to know what your site's really about or what type of person that you need to be linked with. So the second more, most important thing that you can do is to optimize your Google business profile. Now you're going to do four things here. You're going to want to make sure that your company description they give you 750 words on there utilize as many of them as you can and make sure you add a couple good keywords in there as well then you want to make sure you're getting plenty of geotagged optimized images plenty of reviews and plenty of citations now all a citation is is just a directory site like yelp or yellow pages that lists your name address and phone number now what you're going to want to do in order to rank though is you're going to want to get more reviews citations and photos than your top competitor in order to surpass them now, as a potential customer searching landscaping in Spartanburg, South Carolina, this is a special type of keyword, by the way. It's that buyer intent keyword. It just means that when someone searches it, they're looking with the intent to make a purchase of a product or service. That's the ones that you want to go for because those are the ones that's going to be people that's actually looking for your services. Now, when I search this word, I'm going to see the top three in maps in this first page of Google Organics. Now, 9 out of 10 people are never going to make it to that second page, and most won't even click more businesses. You want to be as easy as possible for your customer to find in order to capitalize on the most amount of traffic. Being as close to the top as you can get is going to ensure you get a higher percentage of people clicking on your site and interacting with it, and possibly utilizing your services and bringing you in revenue. Now, if I take a look at you versus your top competitor, now I'm just going down through here to find your top competitor and getting this first URL I find that's an actual business and not one of these listing sites. Your actual business will be Jags Lawn Service. So if I take a look at the statistics behind your website, you can see here your UR and your DR, which is a trust and power rating issued by Google, is pretty low. And then that is highly influenced by backlinks. Now all a backlink is is a link from another website back to yours. Now the next most important thing I want you to see here is that your website is not really bringing you in traffic. This is just a ballpark number of people visiting your site every month and right now it's very low. So your website's not really functioning to do you much good. Now if I take a look at your top competitor though, Jags Lawn Service, their website looks pretty good. Um, but again, not 1,500 words of content, and those pictures are not saving as keywords. So they're not doing everything that they can to rank, which means that they can be beat. If we look at their statistics, their UR and their DR are also low. That just tells me that some of these backlinks are probably low quality and hurting them. Um, however, there are other things that influence this, but that's the number one thing right there, are backlinks. So you want these to be, again, high quality. You want high quality rather than a high quantity. The thing that I want you to take away from this though are these organic keywords. Now these show you the number of people that are searching for your services every single month. You look for these buyer intent words like landscapers, Spartanburg, landscaping, lawn care, any of those, and it's going to show you the number of people searching. So right now we got 150, 200, 100, 100, 100. So right there, already just barely making it down the list. There are several hundred people just in Spartanburg alone looking for your services. Now, 
What's important to note here is that you do service a large area, which means there are multiple cities and suburbs that are gonna have their own search volume, and then you also have multiple services, not just landscaping. So with that, there are tons more words out there with high volumes all on their own that you can also utilize on your website by having it correctly built and optimized with plenty of backlinks and then also optimizing that Google business profile with plenty of citations. This is what's going to drive you to the top for these keywords that you target and bring you in all that volume of customers. Now with that, a certain percentage of those are going to click on your site and then a certain percentage of those are going to be converted into an actual customer and thus you're going to get a lot more revenue from this. So ultimately, I hope that you see there's huge potential for growth for your company here. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I would love to talk with you more about this, but thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.